Even before I spotted her in the sky, I felt her heartbeat in the tempest. Prepare. This island isn't like the others. Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here and today we are diving back into Dauntless because the brand new High Skies Fortune and Glory season sails its way to Ramsgate. It's uh, pirate themed, hence why I said dive and sails. This is the point where you'd laugh. No? Anyway, the new season has recently kicked off and with it comes a whole load of new items to earn through your hump pass, but on top of that the other major huge update comes in the form of a new endgame activity, the new elder game content if you will, The Trials. This is a brand new activity set in a brand new location with brand new rewards that you can begin working towards. So in today's video we're going to take a look at what's new and worth checking out this season. Prepare. This island isn't like the others. How do you like your odds, Slayer? I do also want to take a moment to very kindly thank Dauntless for sponsoring this video and giving me access to the update early to see what's new. Although, admittedly, with this video going out this week, we're no longer early per se. I was away on my own pirate-themed adventure last week on an island in Japan with lots of rain, but considerably fewer behemoth. Unless, of course, a Habu Viper counts as a behemoth, in which case there may have been one. Anyway, I'm rambling. Point is, the update dropped last week, but we're still talking about it today, so let's get started. Prepare to face the toughest, most unexpected behemoths you've ever seen. If you got involved in the last season, then you'll know it was all about assassins, one of my favorite aesthetics, so that was for sure one of my favorite seasons thus far. But this season, this one is pretty special. High Skies, the name of the new season, is actually the very first one to not have just one, but two separate hump passes. I'm sure you're familiar with this by now, but with a new season comes a new hump pass. As always, there's a completely free track that you can follow and earn some things along the way. Or there's the elite track route that you can then buy with platinum and snag some more sweet rewards in the process. You'll be glad you have this. But the reason this season is different is because as of last week, the first hump pass is available for Fortune and Glory, and this will run until some point in August, but then when that wraps up, the Zephyr Strike hump pass will roll in, giving you yet more stuff to earn. Each of the respective passes will have 50 different levels to work through, so basically, you're going to have a load of stuff to keep you busy for quite a while. Now, being pirate themed, that naturally extends not to just your gear, but also your weapons and other customization options. So here's a quick look at some of the new stuff that's available. Definitely really cool and pretty fitting given the other new content that is set on a deserted island is somewhat reminiscent of the sort of places pirates would go to explore. Of course, don't forget, as always, outside of the hump pass, there'll also be a few extra bits and bobs on the store that you can grab too. And if you do happen to get anything and want to slide some pirate gold our way, then you can even use our epic creator code. No pressure, of course, completely up to you, but if you want to use it, then our code is Arix. Anyway, moving on from there, let's talk about the other new thing this update, and arguably one of the most exciting new additions to Dauntless in quite some time, a new form of endgame challenge called The Trials. There's a new vendor in town called Lady Luck, and the story goes that her and her crew towed an entire island all the way to Ramsgate for you to explore, which is pretty considerate of her, saving us from having to travel too far. Now the island is a brand new location, not quite as big as your regular islands, because this one is more of an arena, so it's designed with specific combat in mind, but it's an arena where you can challenge fearsome behemoth with more challenging modifiers designed to not only put your skills to the test, but also reward you with a currency that you can use to snag some sweet items. Every week, there'll be a brand new trial to take on. In this video, you'll get a look at two different trials. And let me just begin by saying, these don't mess around. I may not be the number one best Dauntless player in the world, but I consider myself a pretty proficient slayer. And these things definitely taught me that I have a fair amount of preparing to be doing. When you embark on a trial, you can look at the modifiers for the hunt, it'll show you how the behemoth is different. More importantly, it'll also inform your builds. If you see something is going to behave in a particular way, you might want to shuffle around some augments to take that into account. There are also two versions of these trials, a normal trial and a dauntless trial. Normal is, as you'd expect, the base challenge, meanwhile dauntless is like an extreme version, much harder, but also with better potential rewards. See, completing a trial, outside of just the regular bragging rights, it'll also typically reward you with a currency known as Steel Marks. You can then take these to Lady Luck and check out some of the items that she has. She has new cores, 
weapon augments, and even new weapon moves. However, it doesn't stop there. Completing the Dauntless Trials rewards you with another currency, Gilded Marks, and these are used to get the super special items, the cosmetics that show everyone that you've conquered the toughest challenges. There is a limit to how much you can earn on a weekly basis, you can't just earn these marks indefinitely and farm them to your heart's content, there seems to be a weekly limit, typically tied to how quickly you completed the trials, so you want to make sure that you shoot for those if you want to maximise your earned rewards. And piece of advice, you'll probably want to take a team because these guys, as mentioned, they're pretty tough. Also, as if Cool Gear to brag wasn't enough, there's now a new Wall of Champions leaderboard in Ramsgate. This is a physical leaderboard for everyone to see. This isn't something you pull up in a menu for just you and your friends to see. This leaderboard is in town. It is actually a physical, massive leaderboard that you literally can't miss. People can walk past it, meaning that if you're good enough to take them down, everyone will see your name. Assuming, of course, you're fast enough with the best score. The ultimate bragging rights. But that, my friends, is pretty much it. That's a quick look at the latest update and this new season. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay to round this video out, but don't forget if you haven't played Dauntless before and you want to check it out, it is free to download and it's available on PC and console, both Xbox and PS4, with Nintendo Switch version launching at some point later on. So you can click the link in the description box down below if you want to check it out. Thanks again to Dauntless for sponsoring this video, thanks to you guys for watching, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one.
I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also, don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.